Hey everybody, it's Tony from Car Stars. Long time no chat. Anyway, I'm working on the C4 and uh, I just got in a power steering pump. I'm trying to mate it up to the old C4's uh, power steering cooler, which is down there. You can see it right, right there. Um, the high pressure side is right here but I gotta get it to hook to the new pump right here. So this is like C5 stuff, same as a C6. Uh, so you can see that the angle is not quite right. If the outlet was here, I could have made it work. But now I gotta think of, uh, probably just gotta get a custom line made to go from there to the uh, inlet side here on the uh, steering box there. But anyway, what I really wanted to talk about was this cooling fan setup I got going on over here. So two 12 inchers. Uh, when I look at the 12 inchers on the factory radiator here for the C4, uh, there's the old factory setup. Also two 12 inch fans with a plastic shroud. Now obviously I'm not gonna have a shroud. Uh, hopefully that won't be an issue. But mounting these, I've always had a question because you know most of these kits come with these typical mounting parts, right? So, you got this little bag of arms which go into those slots right there to help you mount it to the radiator. And on those little arms, you can stick a variety of these things that come with this kit. So there's like these little flat discs, there's little springs, there's little rubber pads. So, no no instructions come with the proper way to mount these fans. Now I've looked online on YouTube and I've seen people doing it a variety of ways and there was a video from a British guy or company that had these fans and one thing that made a lot of sense to me was they stuck this foam pad between the fan, and this is how we did it on our um, on our uh, run stand. We stuck the foam pad between the fan and the radiator itself. I've seen guys, their videos where they're running this long shaft through the grooves there to the other side and then they put the pad on the other side. But it makes sense to me that this is what's gonna vibrate the most, obviously. And this is what's probably gonna wear a hole in your radiator first if it weren't not for these little foamy pads. So also uh, they gave a tip that these blades if they flex it all and these are pretty stiff actually but if they flex it all you want a tiny bit of space between the body of the fan and your radiator so that if they do flex those fan blades are not hitting the radiator. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run it through. I'm gonna put the little arms on um, I'm going to have one up here and one down there. Um, I'm going to put these little plastic arms on and the springs to help dampen the vibration. I'm going to put the pad on this side and then I'm going to run it through. Uh, if I have enough pads, I'll put a pad on the other side. I, and it looks like I might have enough pads to do that and maybe that's the way they're meant to be. But seeing how this thing doesn't come with any instructions, it's hard to say. But uh, I will show you all of that once I get one of these mounted up. And as you can see, the two 12-inch fans side by side are a perfect fit on uh, this radiator. So, yeah, I'll uh, since I can't film and assemble it at the same time, I'm just going to show you once I have it all set up. So, just remember, this is only one guy's opinion on how to do this, but this makes most, the most sense to me. So, I've got the what can only be described as a zip tie thing, zip tie thing with a spring going on the arm that's uh, attached to the fan with the pad on the other side passing through the radiator and then I'm going to take the uh, round disc with another pad attached to it and slide it down and lock it in place and that's that. Now one thing I did notice that will lead me to believe that I'm doing this wrong is that these little arms they have a cup in the end of it. You can see that perfect place for the spring to nest. 
okay, and keep it in place. Like that, okay? However, what that means is that the spring, because these will not go in like this, okay? It makes absolutely no sense for it to go like this. That means if it goes like this, the spring has to be between the fan and the radiator, which is then going to move this fan back about that far off the radiator. And I think that's too much of an air gap. Also, uh, that would then cause the flat end of the spring to be resting up against your radiator and doing this the whole time. Right? But if you put a, a, a pad there, a little foam pad there, yeah, that'll mitigate that, but this might wear eventually wear through the foam pad. I don't know. Plus, like I said, it leaves too much of an air gap. So I'm going to run it like this. Um, it may not be right. And unfortunately, there's no instructions. And from what I've seen other people doing on YouTube, they mostly run it with or without the springs, mostly like this. And I'm just going to run it like that. And I'll see what happens. And uh, if it's not right, it's easily remedied, it's easily fixed. You can take the, uh, the zip ties off and do it again and just buy some more of the zip tie things. And uh, yeah, just redo it if you have to. It's not a huge deal, but I really wish they had an official instruction kit for how to run these uh, ties. And so far, if anybody knows of a site for people that sell these fans, that describes how exactly to use these kits, um, that would be great. Link it with me or send me a link or send me a comment or whatever. So uh, anyway, I'm going to zip them all on and then I'll show you the final results. Well, in my haste, I forgot one foamy backer pad right here. and uh, But they are in and as you can see, they're all like that. I didn't cinch them down as hard as I can, at least giving the spring some ability to flex, you know. I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not convinced that's the right way either, but that's the way I did it. So, because as you can see, the fan is still pretty much right up on the radiator. So I don't know how much dampening any of what I did is going to work or do anything. Um, so... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works. But in the meanwhile, that's that. And I certainly appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, let me know how you did it or how I should change this. Or so It's not too late. Like I said, you can just cut off the ties and just get another eight ties and do it again. So anyway, I hope that helped uh, somebody. But uh, anyway, if you like what you're watching, uh, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you soon. All right. Out.